Now, if you're able to write, if you're able to write something like you're saying that, you know, can address an editor going, oh, I just love the way this is that or this is that, or the DP goes, oh, I love the images and what you could do with that. A lot of times those secondary and third layer of people, like the director will be maybe on the fence and he'll hand it to the editor. I'm like, what do you think? And that's the thing that puts it, puts it over the top. Is that, or the producer will do the same thing. Plus, these areas are so fascinating. Before we did the first edition of this book, I did a class in every area at UCLA. And so I took editing. I audited composing. <laughs> and I did. And I actually have had a background acting. So, But I took an acting weekend. And I took uh, th- actually three film directing classes. And... People said, are you interested in directing film? I said, no, I just want to understand that fo- that focus and that perception of the director. And I totally enjoyed all of these classes. They're just so fascinating to learn how all these different pieces fit together. And then talking to people who just, you know, really knew how to be interviewed and knew all this amazing information uh, um, you know, acting, how do you prepare for the acting part or mm-hmm. make up uh, another thing I found so interesting was the different personalities, because the, uh, Ron Howard said the director gets to play with everybody. And so the director has to be kind of extroverted. But you think of the editor in the dark room editing and you think of the writer in the room by him, by him or herself, very solitary. So that's a different personality. Or the actor that has to relate so well to so many people. Um, the makeup people told me one of the things that they had to do is they said, we have to be able to move with all these different personalities because we are the first person the actor sees. And we have to help set the tone. If they want to talk, before they start shooting while having their makeup on, we will talk, and if they want to be quiet, we will be quiet, and we better be in a good mood because that's part of our job is to get that attitude going before you go on the set and have to do that hard work. That is what we like to call being professional. 